back, y'all. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Give it up one time for The Fix, everybody. <laughs> one solid year, brother. 49 more to go, right? 49? My next guest, I'm very honored to have here. He's going to grace us with his presence. It's going to be amazing. Television actor, film actor, theater actor as well. Give it up for Nelson Ellis, everybody. <laughs> Nelson Ellis, everybody. Make some noise. My brother, what is good, man? That band. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing, they right? Give it to the people. That, that band is, and this man looks like he's on his way to, you know, Wall Street, <laughs> singing like that. Yeah. I, that band is giving me life. That's good. That yeah. is good. I'm glad to hear that. The band's giving him life, y'all. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. Thank that you. The band is out of control. Absolutely, man. And that singer is out of control. Oh, yeah. This is Jason Nelson. By the way, real quick, I need to give a shout out to Jason Nelson real quick because he's not normally with this band. He got called in at the last minute to be a, a part of the show tonight. He knew it was a big deal for us. So many, many thank yous for gracing us with your amazing voice tonight as well, brother. Thank you. You want a job? <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Just a thought. But anyway, back down to earth. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm enjoying um, the atmosphere. I'm enjoying this place. I want to come back every time I come. Wow. Nice. I'd like to hear that. Oh, we would love to have you back on the show anytime, brother. It means a lot. Every time I come. It's, it's, it's like Soul House meets New Orleans. It's just beautiful. The atmosphere is wonderful. It's eclectic. It has a, I, I just love it. Thank you, man. That means it. a lot. Wow. Thank you. But, oh, you can clap. Go ahead and clap. <laughs> clap. Yeah, that's what I like. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you, though, why are you in St. Louis, bro? Why are you here? I'm here supporting a friend of mine in his play. And, okay. Um, so that's why I'm here. And, uh, and I love it because I, one of my favorite people is Miss Kelly, who is oh, over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, she's coming around the bend soon here, too, right? Yeah, she'll be grace to the stage here soon too. Wow. My favorite on the show, and so I'm a little bit starstruck by her. That's dope. You still get starstruck? I do. Wow. Oh my God. So uh, aside from today, when was the last time you got genuinely starstruck? Aside from seeing me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens every day at work with Lucy. I bet. Yeah, Lucy Lou. Besides being fine as all get out, right. I just, uh, you know, I grew up loving Lucy Liu. And so, Lucy Liu, Ally McBeal, her, you know, her being on that show and everything. Yeah, I love that stuff. And so now that we work together, it's just, right. it's a bit difficult sometimes looking at her trying to say my lines and going, you are my, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, I'm supposed to act a certain way, but all I want to do is ask for your number. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I got to act. I did ask for her number. I think, um, oh. tried to get her information. And how did that, how did that go? I think, I think, I think we got her email. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's. To, to, that's that's kind of brutal. To go on a, <laughs> a, a show of a friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, but you know that's been stalled a bit. So yeah, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. Mm -hmm. So you've been on Elementary for this whole season so far, yeah. right? This is your first time being on this on Elementary, right? Yeah. And uh, it's uh, Sherwell. Shinwell. Shinwell, sorry. Shinwell, Shinwell. Johnson. And it's a uh, undercover. 
Yeah, he's uh, he works. He's an informant, right? For the FBI, um, he's also a very shady character. So you don't know what is going to happen with Shinwell. Yeah, because you know he, you know, am I in? He's he, he's a sociopath, number one. Oh, okay, that's a good start. He's a liar, number two. Right. And he's an opportunist, number three. And you just don't know what he's going to do, number four. And that's how the writers are writing him. They want him to be, they, they want the audience to, they want him to be unpredictable to the right. audience. They don't, want, they don't want the audience to pin his character on anything. They just want him to be out there until they, I don't even know what he's going to do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I thought there was like a, like a series Bible or something like that, where you no, know where the I story's going to go, where, where the characters I, are going to no, go. No, CBS sends you the script. They, everything is hush-hush. Right. So I don't know what the, this dude is going to do until they send me the script. Um, and then I have to decide on <laughs> how his character is going to go <laughs> after they send me the script. And I go, oh, that's different. Right. I guess he um he gonna do this this week. Are you still in production right now? For are you still shooting the show right now? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. So are you in like mid 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 season break or something like no, that? No, we're we're winding down. Um, we're on uh, the twenty. How many episodes, Richard? Okay. Oh, okay. So you you got three more episodes left? Yeah. Just about? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we're winding down, and then I have to find another job. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you don't get, like, killed off or, like, sent to, like, Iraq or something random on the, on the show or something, you know? Well, well no, I think, um, well, there's something in the wake, but we'll, we'll see a movie. But um, I don't know if... Elementary is coming back. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's oh. that's in that's that's in debate among CBS. I don't I, okay. I don't know. I was just it was a rumor. Is, is this like an exclusive? Well, no. My exclusive? business manager was like, "Can you cut your costs down because oh. in the trades, gotcha. You may not have a job gotcha. next year. Gotcha. <laughs> um." And my son is expensive. No kidding. <laughs> Plus, my Grammy lived with me and my auntie. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. And you live? Where do you Where do you live? You live in L.A. or you in you know Atlanta? Where Where you usually stationed? I station just at? moved from L.A. to Bed Stuy. Oh, really? New York. New Back. York. Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I understand you're from Juilliard. You went to Juilliard, right? Yeah, I went to Juilliard. Right off. And I went to Bot at Oxford. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Best Eye is a different beast. It's a completely different conversation. That is a totally different conversation. Yeah. Best Eye is something else. You walk two blocks one way and you might get killed. Yep. <laughs> and then you walk two blocks another way. You see a whole bunch of hipsters like, <laughs> yo, man, what's up? It's all organic. And it's Wearing like, sock hats. And can I get some collard greens? <laughs> some, y'all, y'all got some chitlins? <laughs> This way and the other way, it's like. That's you know, something else. It's, 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 yeah. It's, How long you been there now? Uh, I've been there for, I think, two months. Oh, two months, okay. Yeah, okay. the street I live on is gentrified. Right. It's just that if you walk a couple of blocks over, they don't know that. Yeah. So. I mean, the welcome to New York in general, man. Like, you can walk. You can walk just one block, and it's a different neighborhood, totally different people. You know, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty. Cra I, I lived in New York as well, so I, oh, I really? had my. Uh, yeah, I went to NYU, so I know that. Uh, oh. I had my whole stint there. Yeah, I went to Tisch. Oh, you so, went to Tisch? Yeah, 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 man. I wanted to go to Tisch. You wanted to go? To, I wanted to go to Juilliard, bro. <laughs> Shoot. But I saw that application, and I was like, this is too intimidating. It's, it's I'm a like, whole lot. You're was... like, you want me to what? How yes. many pages for an essay? 
It's, it, 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 it was, it's a whole lot. How many Shakespeare soliloquies? Yeah. Dang! It's, it's, I haven't even... Who we, is Shakespeare? That's my thing, <laughs> homie. I didn't even read a Shakespeare play. Right. I just asked somebody, I was like, I gotta do these Shakespeare plays. And the girl was like, well, here, just do this. <laughs> so I just so I was it like a, was it Was it like a Mercutio or something like that, a monologue, or what was it from? I did Cassius and Julius Caesar. Okay, yeah. Julius Caesar, all day. That's a good all one, though, day. too. All day, all day, yeah. That's good, some good stuff. That's yeah. some good stuff. Have you ever thought about, um, I know that you've done a lot of stage and stuff, too. Are you going to be doing any Grace of the Stage at all anytime soon? I'm, I'm, I have a theater company um, outside of Chicago called The Collective. And I think we're going to try to partner with um, Joel's production, excuse me, to bring it out to Chicago. I'm in talks with mine, because I have nine other partners. You know, you got all these people. Right, right. You got all these cooks. You, all, you gotta figure out how to cook the food. Um, so I was talking to them about this company and uh, I'm not a singer. We're about to find that out later on tonight, bro. I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Listen, I'm down if my cousin would do it with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she'll be standing us on the side cheering you on, singing with you from a side. Liddell, you gonna sing with me? Oh, he. My yeah, my cousin. Huh? Maybe. Okay. So real quick, I know that, uh, I mean, everybody knows you mostly from your big role, iconic role, memorable role of Lafayette, right? Make, it, give it, make some noise for that. And uh, honestly, you, you are truly a very, very talented individual. Um, man, I've been watching you since that to what, elementary now. Um, but I got to ask you, um, we got a few phrases. Mm -hmm. We wanted to see if you can summon Lafayette for us, just okay. for a few, just for a few. You want to see Lafayette for like just five seconds, y'all? Yeah. So we got famous, we got famous movie quotes that are going to be said by none other than Mr. Lafayette. Here we go. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> See, we gonna need a biggie boat. That's a good one, give it up. We got more, I think there's like a few more in there. There you go. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't believe you got me doing this. <laughs> All right, just two more, just two more off of that, that'd be dope. Come on guys, cheer them on. Cheer them on, make some noise! <laughs> you know I love you, bro. You know I love you, man. See, King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh my goodness. And one more, one more, y'all. One more, right? Make, make some noise. One more. Yeah, come on, make some noise. And the final one. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Excuse me. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Give it up! Give it up for Nelson! Alice, everybody! I got Drea Kelly coming up next! Can't wait to talk to her! The Fix! Let's go! Thank you for staying tuned. We'll be right back. So stick around for more Late Night with Pascal.